So this is Mango. We recently got together and we are very smitten with each other. Mango is a 2009 Honda Element EX with four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive capability and Mango also has an e-camper rooftop pop-up tent conversion by Ursa Minor and I thought today I would show you around the car, show you around the camper and explain why I chose this vehicle in particular for my future car camping life adventures and perhaps by the end of this video you will want to join me virtually on those adventures or maybe you'll be inspired to go on some adventures of your own who knows anything is possible so honda elements were made from 2003 to 2011 unfortunately they don't make them anymore but they do come in three different models the lx the ex and the sc this one is an ex not all of them are all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive capability. Some are only front-wheel drive. So if you do ever consider purchasing a used one and it matters to you, be sure to pay attention to that. I think that these vehicles are just incredibly well-designed and very versatile. The, the designers of the Honda Element are supreme. Um, if I could go back and tell my 15 or 16-year-old self which car to, to get as my first used car i would go back and say get the honda element uh these these vehicles although maybe didn't have uh, a huge popularity when they were being made they kind of have a bit of a cult following now and so their resale value is crazy for used cars they hold their value really really well i like that the the flooring isn't carpet it's this hard plastic rubber and so it's easy to spray out, wipe down. Uh, it's great for car camping with all the dust and the dirt. And I like that the back seats fold all the way down. I like that the back seats fold up on the side. I've never seen that in a car before. Uh, the suicide doors for uh, this vehicle are kind of funky and unusual and unique. And I also like that there's this little hidden uh, 12 volt plug-in in between the H in the front of the car and so you can plug in a portable what you might call it a portable solar panel and charge your car battery so that's what i'm doing right now i'm charging up the car battery with the ursa minor e-camper conversion they installed a second cigarette plug 12 volt plug as well as a a usb plug and so i can charge my phone from back here or up in the in the camper even though it looks pretty small and compact from the outside it's actually quite spacious on the inside i recently took some friends to cannon beach with me and they all said wow we're so surprised at how comfortable and roomy it is in here the only downside maybe is that it only seats four including the driver there's no middle seat so there's only two people you can fit in the back but other than that, I would say that this is a great vehicle to take the back seats out of if you want to do a full conversion. I might end up doing that, we'll see. But I'm very happy with the fact that this feels like an SUV, but it's compact like a car. So if you live in a big city or a fairly big city and you still want a vehicle, maybe you live in the countryside and you have a 40 to 50 minute drive to get into the closest town. This is also a great vehicle. It gets pretty darn good gas mileage. Maybe not as good as a Prius, but certainly better than an SUV or a van. I used to have a van. I used to live out of a van and that got horrible gas mileage. So I'm very happy with this upgrade. If you need a daily driver, but you also are a weekend warrior or you enjoy long road trips, you want to take more road trips and not break the bank, I think this is a great car. If you're kind of in that transition bleh, transition phase from college to maybe, um, I don't know, starting a family or something, this car could work for you if you're used to living on the road full time and you're not ready to fully give up that aspect of, of road life. This car could work for you uh, if you are a teenager learning how to drive. They, they make these vehicles or they made, I should say, they made these vehicles in automatic as well as manual. I think learning how to drive manual in a Honda Element is a brilliant idea. And I also think that if you have any sort of side hustle, like say you 
mow lawns or paint houses or you want to start a wedding photography business or you're in a band and you need to put gear in the back these seats can fold all the way down or up on the side or you can just take them out and you've got this big lunchbox toaster full of space lots of space so I don't know I sound like a car salesman I'll shut up <laughs> Okay, last but not least is the pop-up tent. It's the easiest thing in the world to set up. It takes less than 30 seconds to pop open and then less than 30 seconds to close her up. So the first step is you go to the outside of the car and there are two metal clasps, one on each side, a right and the left. You wanna undo those. Then you wanna come inside and pull each of these red tabs. There's one on each side. And then you remove these black panels up here. And then what I like to do is I'll keep one of the, the back seats up so I have something to rest my foot onto and then one down. Then you kind of climb up inside and obviously you want to make sure that all of the doors are closed. The nice thing about this setup is you can close the back like this up and then you grab this handle like that. There's a little lock, click it and you're good. Before I get into the pop-up tent, the last thing I do is flick this switch on so that way the USB charger as well as the LED lights work up there. Alrighty, up we go. Get some air in here. You can also unzip it all the way too if you want to. I know some people get like a telescoping ladder and then they just leave it on the outside of their car to get in to the, the pop-up tent. There are a lot of little things about this car that I really love, but I think the two biggest things that sold me on this vehicle in particular is the fact that one, this is not an import vehicle. A lot of mechanics across the country can work on this no problem. And the other reason is this is a fun car. And what I mean by that is people have gotten really creative over the years, figuring out how to make this uh, kind of a project car and I love projects so again turning it into a car camper or adding additional features like a roof rack um, this has a tow capacity not a lot but about a thousand pounds I think the max is 1500 but you might be pushing it so maybe keep it around a thousand I've seen one of these Honda elements totally tricked out where it, it was lifted and it has a winch on the front there's a really cool community of people who love these little lunchbox toaster vehicles, these Honda elements. If you're looking to be a part of a, a car camping community, I think the, the element groups on Facebook are, are pretty cool. They're very nice. Um, so that's just another reason to, to get one. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the car. It's uh, muy bueno. I really tried to keep this thing clean for the introductory video, but as you can tell, I uh, have been enjoying taking it on back roads already. I'm excited to be back on the road part time. No, I'm not planning on living out of this vehicle. I do not live on the road full time anymore, but I, I do want to take a lot of road trips still and keep exploring, keep camping. So hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Mango also has a rooftop pop-up top, rooftop pop-up, roof, pop-up rooftop, whew. <laughs> Mango also has an e-camper rooftop, Mango also has a rooftop pop-up top tent, pop-up tent, shoot. Ah. <laughs>